Matt Schneiman, Bay Area News Group. Colton, uh, Coach Gruden has said before, you know, the one hole he felt on the O-line last year was on the right side. You may have to play there. How much pressure do you feel to, to step in right away and contribute to this team? Um, I feel uh, put at either position, left or right, wherever I'm needed. Um, I'm just looking to compete wherever I'm put at um, and establish myself as a starter. Colton, Jerry McDonald, uh, Bay Area News Group. Could you describe sort of um, from the time you got drafted to now, just sort of give us a timeline on what happened since then and when you got here and all that? Sure. Um, following the, uh, the season, um, I trained at Exos uh, in Arizona, um, prepped me for the combine, trained there for eight weeks. After the combine, I did a number of team visits. Um, and uh, was pretty busy then. Uh, then had about a week week break uh, before the NFL draft. Um, and last night was uh, it, uh, it's pro it was very long to say the least. Uh, you know, uh, to wait through that. But uh, it was it was an awesome experience, especially being surrounded by your family, uh, friends, people that have helped you along the way. Um, uh, I felt really blessed to be uh, in that spot. Did you? Why a lot of those people to Dallas to be with you for that? Uh, yeah, they they um they allow eight eight coach tickets, um, and uh, they fly they fly your high school coaches down and the rest of the guys uh they flew themselves down. How's it going, Gold? Kyle Martin, Raiders.com. You know, you grew up not too far from Oakland. How's it feel to stay close to family and then just be in the Bay Area? Oh, it's 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 real great. Um, it's uh, you know only a short drive away, um, you know uh, that was sort of a hometown team, um, a lot of great fans. Um, it's also great to be playing with Eddie Vanderdos, who who was just down the street at Placer uh, from Roseville. He was also UCLA guy, of course, um, and that's I think that's pretty neat. Colton, Michael Gelkin, Las Vegas Review Journal. You step into a fairly unique position group in terms of the number of proven veterans that surround you, even at guard, Kelechi, El Semele's play, offensive tackle. What do you foresee in terms of just the opportunity in front of you to learn from the veterans around you? Yeah, I, I uh, want to be a sponge, to say the least. Um, I, want, I want to just soak in as much information as I can from them, ask a lot of questions. Um, and I really want to uh, you know, establish that bond between us. I think that will be really important in the future, and I think it will be um, I think it'll be huge for my de uh, de development. Um, you know, uh, yeah, I hope to maximize that. Yeah. John, this is uh, Paul Gutierrez from ESPN. What, what exactly about Colton appealed to you when you looked at the draft board and you saw that he was still there when it came time for you guys to make that pick? Well, Reggie and I uh, obviously uh, really have a lot of respect for this man's athleticism, number one. He can pass protect. Uh, you can use him a lot of different ways. He can pull. He can redirect. He's got a huge upside at a position that's very hard to find. And uh, in the AFC West right now, uh, the people that you have to block, Colton, hate to break it to you, but they're pretty good. And uh, he's got versatility. He can play right tackle. He can play left tackle. Uh, he's got the right stuff inside. And... Um, He's going to be a huge part of our future. And he's playing a position that, like I said, is very hard to find these days. Eddie Pascal, Raiders.com. Coach Gruden, it's been a decade since you were back in a draft war room. What's it feel like to get those juices going again on draft night? It felt good. It was great. I think uh, Reggie did a, an outstanding job. Um, I think preparing a new coaching staff uh, with his scouting department, um, working together with a lot of people for the first time and at crunch time uh, making a trade that I think really benefited this football team. We added a outstanding young prospect at left tackle who can also play right tackle and I think a game-breaking wide receiver that um, is going to make his presence felt as well. Uh, Colton, Matt Calhara from the San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, your coach just made mention of this, but um, how much do you know just about the some of the pass rushers that are in the AFC West? Obviously, you have the Von Millers, Joey Boses, and then Denver just went out yesterday and got uh, Bradley Chubb. How much do you know about the, the rushers that you might be seeing? Um, I love it. I love the competition. Um, 
I think it's a great opportunity, uh, especially being at this level. Um, you know, once you're a tackle, you're, no, you're kind of part of the, the club. Um, you know, you're sort of the you're striving to be the best tackle in the world. You know, playing against uh, playing the, against the best, um, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Hey, Colton, uh, Vic Tafer from the Athletic. How would you characterize your season last year? I think I saw somewhere you got off to a slow start. You thought last year, and how do you think you turned the corner last year? And how would you characterize the whole the whole season? Yeah, um, uh, switching from the 2016 season from right tackle, uh, starting off the 2017 season, I uh, believe I didn't start where <clears throat> I wanted to. Um, there were some technique issues that uh, I cleaned up on. I think I progressed through the season. If you see where I started and where I finished, you you would see a lot of improvement. And uh, I didn't. It don't only it didn't only stop there. I also improved. In the off season, you know, I'm still, I'm still improving, um, and I'm just uh, super stoked, yeah, for the opportunity. Kevin Bollinger, Fox, Las Vegas. Uh, following up on that, what area do you think you need to most improve on as you make the jump to the next level here? Uh, I think technique, technique is huge. Um, I think that's what really separates guys, especially since they, <clears throat> guys have are uh, so, so fundamental in their techniques, playing eight years, ten years. Uh, that's something I'll definitely need to, that I'll definitely work on. Um, then I'm always improving my strength. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just uh, gonna take as much as I can, again, from the older guys and uh, uh, Coach Cable and uh, really get better. Colton, Reggie yesterday characterized you as having really played offensive line practically your entire life. Can you detail just when you started playing football, how soon you were playing offensive line, and whether or not you've veered into other positions along the way. Sure. I um, started uh, football when I was uh, in seventh grade. Um, played, uh, played both uh, right and left tackle. Also played D-line. I was a two-way player. And I did that all the way up until my senior year in high school. Um, so yeah, I've always been a lineman. Uh, I was tried out as, as a tight end, but uh, didn't catch it then. But uh, I did get an opportunity against Kansas State. I caught it, but uh, I didn't have any blockers, unfortunately. But <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, always been an old lineman guy. Yeah. Any more questions, guys? Hey, John, this is uh, for, for you. Oh, sorry. Um, what does this pick say to uh, Donald Penn, if anything? Is it the message or something that he, um, it's a competition, is this the state of him? What's the message for Donald here? Well, Donald Penn is still on our football team, and he's uh, still rehabbing his foot injury. Um, you know, Donald has been a very good player for the Raiders, a guy that I coached in Tampa, know extremely well. But um, this has nothing to do with Donald Penn. This is about the future of the Oakland Raiders. We have an outstanding young quarterback. Uh, we have a need at the position, and we were very fortunate to address it, but it doesn't really say anything to Donald Penn. Cole, I'm sure, sure you're aware that the whole draft process is kind of a you know, nitpicky, tear you down kind of thing at some points. Do, do you, are you aware of any um, reaction to this draft pick that by, from the fan base that might be negative, or has it all been positive for you? Um, I would say... Uh... I'm sorry, what, what was your uh, question? Just basically, are you aware of, uh, you know, draft analysts, social media, everybody picks apart almost every draft pick. Are you aware of any negative backlash towards this pick? Um, I don't really tend to, if you actually notice, uh, I'm not huge on, on social media. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, there was actually, a, I think, a guy that impersonated me on Twitter just because I didn't have enough <laughs> followers. So, and, uh, yeah, so I don't really pay too much attention. Um, I think that's uh, more of a distraction, if anything. It, uh, um, I just, you know, look, I look uh, what I can do each day to better myself, and uh, I try to stick to those things because I think it really helps. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thanks.